Hi everyone, uh, today's video is going to be about um, how to use TurtleBot. I'll show you how to connect it to the robot, how to turn on the robot, and also um, how to do demo one that Andrew showed us uh, last Friday. Um, so let's start with um, the instructions. I already have these instructions in the desktop, but it's going to be on the website as well. Um, so let's start doing it step by step. First, you need uh, if you need internet connection. This is a temporary solution, by the way. If you need internet connection um, on any of these uh, workstations, you need to um, turn on um, the laptop that is uh, on the table, and um, you need to log in to your PSU um, uh, Wi-Fi account. Uh, once you have internet connection on the laptop, it's going to share it with the workstations. Um, so uh, make sure you turn on the laptop and connect connect it to the internet. Then uh, you need to turn on the robot base and turn on the jewel and make sure uh, the robot is connected to the router. Um, as default, it needs to connect it to the router without doing anything but if it is not you have to uh, bring the mobile um, um, workstation that is in the front area here connect the robot to the workstation and uh, make sure uh, Ubuntu Mate is connected to the internet uh, after step 2 we have to um, uh, follow the steps in um, steps step three um, if you face with any problem uh, uh, installation problems uh, please follow the instructions um, at this link uh, for now you can just skip it because all the workstations are uh, uh, fully installed with all the necessary packages and everything but if you want to use your laptop or PC um, as a workstation you have to follow these steps first so uh, next thing we need to do is SSH uh, into the lab, uh, robot um, to do that we have to run the terminal first and uh, let's say SSH turtlebot at local TB2I1 this is going to let us SSH into robot1 it's going to ask the password password is robot1 so now we are in robot1 that means it's uh, connected to the internet I mean the um, network and um, next thing we are going to do is uh, changing the directory to uh, turtlebot to i um okay sorry uh, i shouldn't have said two here all right we are in turtlebot 2i right now and uh we need to run the script that is um created by andrew um called go Raz. it's going to set up all the environment uh, variables and um source your bash file so you don't need to uh, do this every single time and whenever you open a new terminal um, on the robot uh, after the SSH into it or whenever you do something on the workstation you have to uh, run go ROS first and then uh, let's um, run our uh, ROS master to do it we have to say um, ROS core as you see it's running uh, the ROS master at uh, tb2i-1 uh, local 11.311 ok so next step is opening a new t uh, tab because once we run um, ROS core we cannot run another um, command here so uh, we need to open another terminal and SSH into the robot again it's just repeating uh, everything in step 3 alright password is robot1 ok 
maybe I need to do a bot and let's go to turtle but to I go Ross again and this time instead of running um, Ross core again uh, uh, we will uh, launch th um, the launch file which is going to start all the necessary um, nodes that we uh, need to use for our demo one which is for navigation oh, okay um, for some reason it ignored okay, so let's try it again uh, it's not, oh it needs to be ROS run not just run I mean, there is no run here. That that's why we were getting this error messages, and it should work. Yep, the robot needs to uh, give some kind of beep sound or um, some kind of indicator that I means everything is uh, started successfully. Um, so let's go. Uh, back to our workstation so everything on the robot we need to do is done so next step is all about the workstation open a new terminal on the workstation I already did uh, so I have to go to the uh, um, workspace on my workstation all right and um, type go ROS again and then um, to see whatever my robot uh, publishes uh, all, uh, to s like virtualize all the sensor data uh, there's a tool called Arvis I think you are all familiar with this tool um, so I have to run Arvis to do it I need to say ROS run Arvis Arvis so it's going to start Arvis in a second as you see as Arvis started but we don't see anything here because we have to add all um, the um, tools uh, virtualizing tools uh, to our screen um, but uh, instead of doing it we can just use um, the um, configuration file that I saved on the, the desktop in the desktop so it's going to bring up all the uh, displays for camera for navigation or laser scan so let's go to um, file click on open config and go to desktop you will see the file called rrrrvs and um, we can just say uh, uh, cancel sorry uh, open config file Was without saving. Okay, it's um, starting RBs again. So as you see, um, and now the robot is on a big green table. So uh, one of the cameras is looking down and sees the table, and one of them is looking at the um, looking to uh, the lab, and you can see. Uh, all the sensor data and camera information here so if you want to move the robot forward or backward or wh whatever direction you want you need to click on this one first and show the robot which direction to go make sure it's not going to fall down as you see robot is moving on the table right now and it stopped so I don't want to keep uh, moving the robot on the table since it's dangerous I think um, this is all for demo one uh, if you have any questions please email me um, uh, I hope this video was helpful see you guys later thanks for watching